I have a Merit Roadster S4. It's a four wheel scooter. They also have this in three. It comes in red or blue. Here's your swivel seat. Arms can flip back. Arms can adjust out. Arms can be removed. Um, on this seat, you also have the back porch for an oxygen tank holder, basket, whatever you need to put in there. You just remove this cap, twist this out, stick it right in there. Um, you have a little small pocket back here. Maybe you can hide some cash or a fold up umbrella, or whatever. It's not very big, um, but it's there. The seat's very nice, very comfortable. Um, this is your free will. So you hear it beeping. Well, it's beeping at me because it's telling me it's in free will. It's going to be harder to press or push in the free will mode with it turned on. So make sure that's always turned off if you had to will it. This is a very common problem. People call in it about all the time. Just flip that back. If you have a mobility scooter and you're having problems and it's beeping at you, count the beep codes. That usually helps us figure out what's wrong with it. Some beep codes can be as easy as it in free will or that you have the charger plugged into the unit. So, but right now we're talking about the Roadster S4. It's a portable disassembled scooter um, to take this, it has the wraparound Delta Tiller. It has a very simple dashboard with the LED lights up here, a horn. It does have a light switch, speed control, on and off key. Um, forward and back, or you can use one hand to operate this if needed. Um, again, the swivel seat's there to help you get off of the unit, or if you pull up to a table to swivel. I'm going to show you how this comes apart very quick. You just remove the seat, you're just going to pull this straight up. Usually you don't have to do that, but I didn't have it clicked in. Let's just do that again. Make sure you don't. So just pull this seat right off. Sometimes you don't want to mess with this. It could lock it on there. Um, we are starting to see some units that you do now have to pull that up. Here, how to charge this unit. You charge it directly to the battery pack. There's no charging port on the tiller. It's right through this battery pack. Your charger will plug right into that. It comes with a charger. This is also um, a circuit breaker, if something, this might trip, if this scooter's not turning on, it could just be that, push it in, it's just like at your house, you have outlets, sometimes they trip. Um, but you can pull this battery pack straight up, I usually put my hand here, and you'll hear a pop. That pop's good, kind of keeps it snug, if you hit a bump, it doesn't pop up. Over time, these can get a little bit loose, you might have to change this out. So if you have a unit, you're having some issues with that, just let us know. Um, maybe that's all you need, but this is just like the Go-Go's and now the Golden's. All this is pretty much the same stuff. Um, that battery pack's about 12 or 20 pounds. Usually about two to three hour ride time. They say about nine miles. And that's all calculated off of different situations. Basket can come right off. Remove the basket. Tiller can adjust to you and this is how you disassemble it bring it down watch the key when you do this on this particular unit tighten this back up get the teeth in the grooves this is going to move on you but if you push that in and tighten it or just turn it this keeps it from moving back here is how you disassemble it so on the three wheel version this was a little bit lighter because it was three wheels and this is still a hard surface scooter. It'll go through some well-maintained grass. It's not something you want to buy primarily for your yard, just to throw it out there to you. Um, this is about 34 pounds. This back's about 23 pounds, battery's 20, seat's about 20. You can't take the arms off to make it lighter. And now we want to disassemble this back. Take it, you can walk it back. You're going to drop it right on. Come back here. Go ahead and turn this. Loosen this. Bring this up.
tighten it back in. Make sure the teeth are getting set in there. Drop your basket on here like so. Battery pack's gonna go right back down. Let me note this, I didn't talk about this one through well. This wiggling, this needs to be tightened up a little bit, but you can adjust this seat post height. Drop this here, and then put the seat on. And just drop it right onto the seat post. Maybe add a little bit of grease when you get it. Um, I'm about 5'7". I, uh, I fit fine here. You can put your feet up here. Um, from your foot, it's about 12 inches, about a foot from the battery to here, and you got about 20 inches to here. So you can sit down somewhere and try to see where you might be if you have a current unit. If you're taller, six foot and above, you're probably gonna be really tall on this unit. It's manageable, it's a portable scooter. It's not for something that you're probably gonna use all day, every day, all the time, but it is a portable, affordable scooter um, that disassembles, it's by Merits. Hey, I'm Chris with Affordable Medical, and I'm going to go over the Merits Roadster S3. It's extremely similar to the Buzz Around by Golden XL. Um, Three-wheel scooter can come in four. It's going to come in red or blue. This one's displayed in red. A lot of things I like about it, the price is good. The one thing you got to be a very, a lot of people are scared of three-wheel scooters, so be the reason for it is their balance isn't that good. But if you get onto the system using the swivel seat, it has a swivel seat. You can swivel all the way around. Um, this is the best way to get on and off of a three-wheel scooter. Now, if you're buying this primarily for your yard, don't buy three-wheel. If you're buying this for going to the shopping at the stores and you, can, you know how to slow down to turn, three-wheels are great. They're also lighter weight and you get more leg room in a three-wheel scooter. So I'm about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, I fit very comfortable in here. Um, we'll get a picture of someone a little bit taller than me on here, but this is manageable for me. These arms at the, currently um, are about 18 inches across. They're like a rubber, so they're gonna last a lot longer than those vinyl pads. Um, you also, again, you have the swivel seat and you can adjust these arms out very easily or remove them. You just loosen that. You have your tiller, you have your port back here for an oxygen tank, a basket, um, a walker holder, stuff like that. Um, the reason why I was telling you be careful with a scooter if you have balance issue, if you get out of it like this and you're putting all your weight on the side of this, this could be a no-no. So if you're buying this for your mother or your father or yourself and you have a little bit of a memory problem and you can't remember to swivel the seat, then I would probably stay away, or, or you can't get out of the unit without pushing on it, then I would stay away from a three-wheel scooter. The basket's not very big, it's a small basket. You see these size baskets on a lot of the smaller scooters. Um, this is your adjustable tiller. This can come back and forth to you, and you can lock it into place. So wherever you kind of want it, just make sure the grooves get back in there. You also have a front light on this unit, um, and a wrap around delta tella, tiller, wrap around. This is your horn, this is your light, this is your speed, and it's pretty basic electronics up here, forward, back, or you can use this with one hand if needed. Right here, you could take these screws out and you can put a mirror here. Um, and this also disassembles. One thing I do like about this unit is the rubber seems like this is going to last. The seat's very comfortable. 
I like the new seat. You're seeing the same seat on other units like Golden's unit. Um, and it's very lightweight. Perfect for, oh, this is cool too. I just noticed this. This is a little chart pocket back here. It's not very big, but you can put like a, maybe something small in there, but it has like a cool like magnet button. Right now we have the manual. To take the seat off, you're just gonna pull this right up. So if that's a little tight at first, you can put a little bit of grease right here. The battery packs, 12, 12 amp hour batteries, they might say about nine, nine miles on this. I usually say about two to three hours. So if you're not riding it for a long period of time, you're fine with this small battery pack. Um, you would charge it through this port. So you can take this battery inside your house and charge it. I want to note on this particular unit, you don't have a charging port up on the dash. So this is about 20, 20 something pounds. This right here, if you're noticing this, this is just your free will. If for some reason you had to push it with the unit turned off, it allows it to roll. This is the most common call in that something's not working. It's usually, needs, usually in the neutral, you need to put it back into the drive setting. These tires are really, really nice. This is not a very high ground clearance, not very big tires. These tires are about seven inches. And how you fold this up or disassemble it, take the basket off, turn this knob, make sure you get it loose enough to where you don't grind on this, tighten it back up. Now this is gonna move on you, so you can press this in and turn it. This allows this to stay, to, for it not to move as much. Um, and this right here, you can pick it up. If someone like me was doing this for my mother, I can pick this whole thing up. But if you need to reduce the weight, you would just disconnect it just like you would on a lot of the units, like the Go-Go's or the, or the Goldens. And this is probably about 23, about th probably about 30 pounds. I'll do a weight test on that, Andre. And this is your back end, has a little handle here. Pounds. I don't know why I said 23, 30 pounds, 31 pounds. All right, you want me to put it back together? All right, I'll hit this back real quick. Twenty-three pounds. Twenty. All right, I'm gonna put this back together. It's pretty simple, but you need to take your time. So I usually, you know, make sure that you're able to bend over to do this. If you have balance issue again, bending over is kind of difficult to put this back together. But you would just walk this back. You can see this in this bar. And you're gonna walk it right back on there and it clicks into place. Back here, go ahead and push that forward and turn it. Loosen this. Watch the key on this particular unit. Tighten that up. Don't ever put a lot of weight on your tiller. This can slip, you can fall. Just be careful if you see your loved one doing that or catch yourself doing it, try to stop doing that. Um, this will just go right back here. And then don't grab the seat by the arms, grab it right here. And I usually just walk it around and put it on and then make sure that the seat can swivel. And then that's how you put back together the Roadster S3.